ông quên cho ông về cảm to cái chấm nạc này thì thì sạm nạc này kia bàn to đấy một lần chun về cả chỉ từ cầm về từ nạc cái cái đấy ông nhớ không nó xua xa từ chặt cầm bắt chặt cầm đốt chặt cầm sạm nạc là vậy bằng miền tây nua ấy xua xa thấy không chơi Merci, Monsieur le Président. Il s'agit plus de demandes de précision par rapport à une information, d'ailleurs, qui a peut-être déjà été donnée, mais je l'ai peut-être manquée ce matin. Monsieur le témoin, vous avez expliqué que, s'agissant du transport de personnes par le train qui transitait par Batambang, vous avez noté qu'il y avait eu deux étapes. Une étape qui a suivi euh, la chute de Phnom Penh en avril 1975 et une autre étape ultérieurement. Ce qui m'intéresserait de savoir, c'est est-ce que vous saviez quelle était la destination finale des personnes qui étaient ainsi transportées vous avez parlé d'un certain nombre de gares, mais au-delà de ces gares, est-ce que vous savez jusqu'où ces personnes ont pu être conduites Donc, ce que vous saviez, c'est que ces personnes étaient transportées jusqu'à certaines coopératives, mais sans savoir exactement lesquelles. Est-ce que c'est bien ce que vous nous dites J'ai une dernière, toute dernière question, monsieur. Vous avez parlé du transport de personnes par le chemin de fer, par le train. Est-ce que vous avez été témoin de d'autres modes de transport de personnes Est-ce que vous avez vu des personnes transportées dans d'autres véhicules que des trains Je vous remercie beaucoup, Monsieur le témoin. Je n'ai pas d'autres questions à poser à, à Monsieur euh, Sok. Thank you, Mr. President, and good afternoon to all in and around the courtroom, and especially good afternoon to you, Mr. Sok Chin. My name is Jasper Pao. I am the lawyer for Nguyen Chia, international lawyer of Nguyen Chia, and I will be asking you some questions relating to the statements that you provided to the investigating judges and today here in the courtroom. As always, I will be speaking slowly for the benefit of the translators, but if anything is unclear to you, please uh, do ask me for clarification. Mr. 
Sokchin, this morning um, Sokchin, uh, you stated uh, that you uh, do not remember uh, exactly when you were interviewed by the investigators of the OCIJ. Could you perhaps give us an estimate? Can you tell us about how long ago it was that you were questioned by the investigators of the OCIJ? Um, Mr. President, I see that the witness is looking at his statement, but I'm asking him to answer from memory, so could we not be instructed to not read from his statement, but to answer the question from memory? Mr. President, I see that the witness is looking at his statement, បាទគុណលោកសក្សីមិនបាច់មើលនឹងទេលើកលែងតែចំណុចណាស់ដែលត្រូវទៀងទាត់ប៉ុណ្ណោះសក្សីរបស់ចងចាំគឺឆ្ល
បាទនៅក្នុងភូមិខ្ញុំលុកខាងភូមិខ្ញុំបាទសិទ្ធិ you stated that there are a number of real world workers living in your village. Did any of those um, other real world workers accompany the investigators when they came to talk to you? No, they didn't. ອັດມີນາຊູດຫມອກເຕເກຈົນຫມອກແຕກຂ້ອຍຄໍສົມພຽກຂ້ອຍດໍສົມພຽກຂ້ອຍຮູ້ຖ້າຍບານສົມພ
จูบคณีธรรมดาแต่ในจิตคณีให้รัตไตรปีครั้งรัตไตรดูคณีนิวรติจุนดูคณีบาอันส์สมนัว Are you aware of the fact that Um Prum has also given testimony to the investigators of the PCCC? Yes, he has. During your interview with the investigators of the OCIJ, was Mr. Umprung present, considering that he lived near you? Yes, he was present. And during your And how did you know he was outside? Did you see him outside, or did people tell you he was outside? Could you explain that, please? Yes, he was outside. He was outside. And do you know why he was outside while you were being interviewed? Khang krau treng trang nung nope da luk dal sum phia nung. According to the summary of the interview with Mr. Mr. Umpudung has talked to the investigators. This means that the investigators of the ECC spoke with Om Prung without recording the conversation. And the reference for that, Mr. President, is document number D232-74, English ERN is 004223. And the ERN is 0044880. It can be found under question 60. It is in fact the investigator himself who indicates that they have had off the record contact. Mr. Sokchin, you were interviewed on the same day as Mr. And you were interviewed by the same investigator. And it all took place in the same village. the investigator of the OCIJ perhaps speak with you as well without recording this conversation? Or was the entire of your interview recorded? เราหดเอาไปมุ้ยเตอร์บานสุพีเมียนถอดตาเชิงดายรติบาดเชิงเชิงหายประเทศเชียงมันดังเมืองมินในยีกินเมนเตอร์เชียงเพลิดยูมัน
Oui, j'aimerais bien que Maître Po nous explique les raisons de telle affirmation. Il vient d'indiquer que l'enquêteur avait parlé avec euh, l'autre témoin, je n'ai plus son nom en tête, avant de s'entretenir avec celui-ci. Si j'ai bien compris, quel est la, le fondement d'une telle affirmation et, et quelle est sa pertinence Thank you, Judge Lavernia, for um, that question. The uh, source for that knowledge will come from the um, interviews, the summaries of the interviews themselves. Uh, witness Ung Dung was interviewed on the 8th of December 2009 at 9.15 a.m. And that interview ended at 2.30 that same day, um, and 20 minutes later, um, the interview with this witness starts. Uh, the 8th of December 2009, at 10 to 3, uh, and that goes on into the afternoon. So that's where I base my uh, knowledge on that these people were, in fact, interviewed on the same day. Uh, and that Om Plung was uh, interviewed first. Uh, the relevance of Om uh, Plung is Om Plung. I'm sorry, but it's not the same as the statement that you have used to question this witness. So I'm going to ask you to be a little more precise. The fact that these two witnesses have heard the same day is one thing. That they have heard the same day successively is another thing. But beyond that, it seems a little more difficult. Et encore une fois, j'aimerais savoir quelle est la pertinence de toutes ces questions. To make sure I understand, Judge Lavergne, which assertion did I make so I can respond comprehensively to your question? Je n'ai je n'ai pas le transcript sous les yeux, mais c'est peut-être aussi un problème de traduction. Il m'a semblé avoir compris que vous aviez indiqué à ce témoin que l'interrogateur lui avait fait état de ce qu'il venait d'interroger l'autre témoin avant de, de procéder à son interrogatoire. Alors, je ne sais pas si ce n'est pas le cas, au moins que j'ai mal compris, mais peut-être pour clarifier cette question. Yeah, then I think um, we understand each other. I did not assert that the investigator had told this witness that he had spoken to uh, the witness in the morning. My question was whether um, the investigator had told this witness about uh, such an occurrence, and that obviously is relevant uh, if one wants to examine sources of knowledge of this witness. So I um, did not mean to assert that Investigator um, has told Thank you, um, Mr. President, and I'm not sure if the witness 
When the investigator of the OCIJ came to interview you, did he explain to you that he had been speaking to Mr. Ong Kudung earlier that day? And to avoid confusion, um, the investigator of the OCIJ stated that he had spoken to Mr. Om Pudung off the record. So without recording those parts of the interview, this the investigator of the OCIJ also speak with you off the record. Therefore, without recording certain parts of your interview. Your Honours, we were going to object, but perhaps the matter is moot now that the witness has answered the question. In our view, there's no proper basis to be reading to this witness uh, information about interview techniques conducted with another witness. Um, during which interview this witness was not present. Um, my friend Ken Kim quite competently and succinctly put a question to this witness as to whether or not he was asked any questions off the record um, references to other interviews in this particular context um, to our mind uh, are not appropriate. Mr. President, under Normal, normal circumstances, I would entirely agree with the prosecutor. But in this instance, we are speaking about a set of interviews that was conducted on the same day by the same investigators. These two witnesses are neighbors, and they have worked at the same place during the regime of Democratic Kampuchea. Apparently, the one witness has been questioned off the record. It's not the defense claiming it. It's the investigator of the OCIJ writing it down himself in the summary of the interview. Therefore, there is reason to at least probe whether or not this witness may have been questioned as well off the records. Again, there is not the defense going off a fishing expedition. It's the OCIJ itself acknowledging that off-the-records conversations have taken place. So we think it's relevant for um, establishing and probing the sources of knowledge and credibility of this witness. Um, but of course, we are your friends. Um, we are your friends. 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 We គួរតែប្រព្រឹត្តទៅឲ្យបានជាក់លាក់ទៅនៅអ្វីដែលគាត់បានដឹងនៅក្នុងកិច្ចតំណើការរបស់យើងដែលយើងបានកំណត់ជ
miền bảy hà nà mũi đại bẹ quan nâng cầm hốc nị tệ bị thi bài bị ai trở bàn lược lang nơi chụp buông mộc ông chụp nôm chụp bẹt tala tập bốn rứ ông chụp nôm chụp bẹt tala ca cầm phù lời dương con mình đăng thà cô bầm non cả kết bạc lụa nâng chàng mày tê bàn té và dương mình chụp mình chụp lom tê cứ cả đại lục đánh đau này cứ chụp này bị bị lia tới hơi bị chấm nữ trong chấm nách này bị thiên chặt thập bầm muối anh út thiên tim bầm bờ này cứ bàn chạy rồi hay lục bảy hà ni xong lục to thầm đua từ mục tiệt cho Thank you, Mr. President. Um, I hear you stating that my intentions are not clear. Let me then very briefly explain what my intentions are. I am not raising any procedural defect. I could not care less about a procedural defect as such. I'm talking about the sources of knowledge of this witness and whether or not his testimony may have been contaminated by either the investigator of the OCIJ or perhaps the other witness. I'm simply doing what every defense lawyer in the world should be doing, it's questioning the sources of knowledge of this witness. But I understand your ruling. Um, we will move on. This morning, Mr. Sokchin, um, you mentioned in uh, answering a question by the civil parties that you had found out only recently about the role of Nguyen Chia during the regime of democratic Cambodia. Could you tell us how you found out about this role? Did you read about this or did you talk to people? What? How did you find out about um, the role of Nguyen Chia? And when you speak about the TV broadcasts, which TV broadcasts are you? referring to? And when you watch those TV programs, do you um, discuss these with members of your family or friends? And since 1979, have you discussed with members of your family events that took place during the regime of democratic Cambodia? And if we are moving to your work that you undertook um, at the railroads 
during the regime of democratic Cambodia. You have stated that you were responsible for 21 kilometers of the railway. Did that mean that you had to go out every day to check and repair those tracks? And is it correct to state that you were living in Trepeang Chong? And can you explain to us um, how far Trepeang Chung was from that stretch of 21 kilometers that you were repairing and checking? មកតពាំងចូលនោះតាមានចម្ងាយប្រមាណដែរដែលលោកត្រូវធ្វើដំណើរទៅធ្វើកាលពិនិត្យការជួបជូលផ្លូវនោះមកភីប្រមួយគី
ask the question once more in a slightly different form. During the regime of democratic Kampuchea, how often would you go to Liege? Would it be, well, let me ask a question like this. Um, you were also asked this morning the following question, and I'm paraphrasing because I do not have the transcript. The question was, did Tamum or Tamik give you any instructions about trains coming through and carrying people? And your answer was, no, he did not. He did not know about this because, or, no, he did not. He did not know about this because I saw this situation, what happened only along the railway tracks. Could you Explain to us what did you mean by stating that you saw the situation uh, only along the railway tracks? មកមិនដឹងណាណាវិជាឲ្យដឹកមកទេខ្ញុំមិនបានដឹងទេខ្ញុំគាត់បានតែឃើញប្រទេសភ្លើងដែលបកកាត់ឆ្លងកាត់ប
describe for us what these wagons looked like? For example, did these wagons have windows to look out through for the people, or were they entirely closed, as is often the case with uh, transportation wagons? ตำรับดักแต่ตำแหน่งให้กับยอมดักมันลงตาเวรุเรียงอย่างไม่ได้ตูนึงตูนึงเรียงบูนจึงทะเวแต่ตึงป่าหายเจียบปีมาตรปั
you have stated that you were living in Sankat Taping Chorn. Did you sleep in this commune every night after you were transferred there? Thank you. And after you were done with checking on the rails and repairing the rails, you would be transported back to your commune, is that correct? <laughs> And can you give us an estimate as to how long it would take you to get home to your commune? ปันประมาณนี้ถ้าตาปีนงปีกะไลนงมาดอลสังกัดโลรูนั้นนี่มีจํานายประมาณนะให้ตัวจํานายเปียกเปียนประมาณนะคือมันประกอบกะไลนง
So, is it fair to say that you experienced him as he was making the decisions involving your life and work during the regime of democratic Cambodia? And you have also stated that uh, Mom reported to the uh, train unit in Phnom Penh. And could you explain to us how you know that Mom responded or reported to the train unit in Phnom Penh? Did you ever witness him reporting? to the train units in Phnom Penh, for example? ຂ້ອຍຍົມບານຄືນກອດຖືດໍານາ <coughs> And you have also stated that um, trains passing through were under the command of the train units in Phnom Penh. How do you know that those trains were under the command of the train unit in Phnom Penh? បាទត្រឹមត្រូវពួកមានដំណាហ៊ានវិជាទេទៅដាក់តាមតំបន់ក៏អត់ហ៊ានវិជាមានក្នុងពេញទេវិជាបាទពួកខ្ញុំនៅ
orders. Would they always be issued by Tamam himself? Or was there someone under Tamam that issued orders for you? <coughs> And you say so everything was done according to the instructions of Tamu, but just to be clear, does that mean that Tamu himself gave you the order personally? Or was there perhaps someone under Tamam that conveyed his orders to you? Okay, so the order And can you tell us how many staff members Tamum had under him? Can you give us an estimate? Estimate. That is a clear answer. Um, I am almost done with my questions, but I would um, seek your leave to um, have the possibility to confer uh, for a short period with uh, my national co-counsel, Mr. Sonarun, to ask him to clarify something for me, which I simply do not know about being a Cambodian national. And I see that time is, uh, would be appropriate for a break. So with your leave, I would um, ask you to break now, and then when we return, I will have at most five minutes uh, left of questioning, if any. So it is, uh, I mean, your hands, obviously. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Um, you are entirely right, Mr. President. I am, must say, I have um, been too enthusiastic and I have not checked with my colleagues, but I am sure that they themselves can indicate if I would have leave to proceed for five minutes, and I see nodding, so five minutes at most after the break, if any. Yes, Mr. President, I have no objection to the សូមសូមគ្រប់លោកធានលោកលោកសេចក្រមហាក់ពេលញាថាភាតាទាំង <coughs> ແລະສົມອົກຄຸນລູກປະທານສໍາລັບກົມ
สมรบนสมระให้นะในเรื่องแบบประกาศสมระจับปีปีนี้เตอร์โฮดามองใบส่งเชิงเชิงวิญญาณไม่เหมือนตัวสกิจจำนากาสำนากามันเรียรัฐบาลตลาดการตรงรูปดอลกลายสมระในประตูปรงจ้ำเมียสะใสเนี่ยจุ่มเลี้ยงดอลสะใสรูปนี้ในขนมลงเปลือกชุบสมระยังอ่อยเชิงก้อนมากันกลายเป็นตะเคียนกรรมวิ่งในขนมประตูสำนากานี้ในเวลีมองใบสมระจบสองกาวเชอ